Good afternoon. Uh, I just want to make a short video. I'm going to start out. I'm going to be in Luke 1, uh, the King James Version of the Bible. I'm going to start at, temp at verse 28. Uh, and the angel came into her, talking about Mary, uh, and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are they. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled in at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation should this be. He said, thou art highly favored. Uh, the angel didn't tell her that she was going to live long enough to see her baby beat, hung on a tree. Uh, uh, th that doesn't sound like highly favored, does it? Uh, hung on a tree and then Whenever uh, at one at one point he uh, she came to see him and and they said your mother is here and he said who who is my mother uh, it seemed like all of that would be a little hurtful but uh, and like you and you and I we we are highly favored God uh, shed His grace on us our fa His favor we're highly favored but that doesn't mean that we're not going to ever have trouble. That doesn't mean that uh, every day is going to be uh, without uh, something that we got to go through. Highly favored, that, that's chosen. Uh, you know, he told Paul on the way to Damascus, he said he'd show him what things he must suffer. So uh, you're built for it, and uh, it's, it's an honor. It should be an honor. And uh, so Elizabeth... Mary's cousin, she had uh, was expecting John about six months, I think it was, before Jesus. Uh, Mary was expecting uh, Jesus. And in, in verse 41, Luke 1, again, 41, says, And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, is there anything, and I, I made a video, I think, that, that, that address this, but is there anything that makes your heart leap? Uh, you, you can recall back to a time in your life when something made you where you couldn't hardly wait on it, whether it was Christmas or whatever. Uh, there should be something that still makes your heart leap. If it's not, you need to check your pulse. When we were going to church, I was so thrilled when it was time to go to the house of the Lord. I'm going to turn over here and read uh, Job 14 and uh, maybe just verse 1, I think is what. And uh, verse 1 in chapter 14 of, of Job says, Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Um, so if, if, if life is full of trouble, and if God cannot trust you with trouble, it just seems like it stands to reason to me that he can't trust you with life. Can God trust you with trouble? Can he? Can he trust you? Can he trust me? That's the question. You know, I heard about the $64,000 question. That is the life. That's a life question. Can God trust you with trouble? Uh, I know. Yeah, I know he can trust us. If, if things are going good, if our services is good, if we get to go to church, but can he can he trust you in the coronavirus days, COVID nineteen? Can he trust us then? Because as I said, if man is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble, if he cannot trust us with trouble, then he cannot trust us with life. Um, I've seen all kind of I've seen people, many many people in the past that. Uh, when things were going good, oh, how, how, uh, how good they did. But, uh, you know, it's, it's like I talk about yo-yo Christians. They're up here and they're down here. And the next time you see them, and that's one of the hardest kind of people for me to deal with is people. I like people that's the same. Uh, you, you see somebody and you said, oh, man, they was up last time. They're they going to be up. We're going to have a good conversation. And then there they are, down. And when God comes through, does he even know where to find you? 
I mean, is he going to find you on the up or on the down, or where is he going to find you? I've got a friend named Brother Jack Kelly. You all know it by now because uh, I talk about him so much. But uh, we came along together. He received the Holy Ghost nine days before I did. We we would talk on the phone. We didn't have cell phones, but I would talk to him. And, and I noticed that if one of us was up, which is usually him, and one of us was down, a lot of times it was me, that wasn't much of a conversation, but if he could come down just a little bit and I could come up, uh, we could talk out. I, after all, he said, let each esteem others better than themselves. If I esteem you better than me, you esteem me better than you, then we can meet. And uh, I learned that, uh, you know, it's easier to condescend, I believe. I really do. But I learned that if, uh, if I wanted to talk to him, I needed to be up. And so it it it, uh, it improved my it improved my performance. That's, that's sure it sure did that. And another thing I learned from talking to Brother Jack is he didn't talk about people. I've never been bad to talk about people, uh, but he just didn't do it. And what few times I made a mistake, maybe of saying something about somebody, I didn't get a response, and the conversation didn't go too good. So I tried it. And I liked it. Uh, you know, he told us, after all, uh, to, about every idle word. An idle word is just something that don't have any profit. You're going down the road. You both come to church. You come from church, you and your wife. You thought it was a great meeting. And you say, wasn't that meeting great? And your wife says, or it could be vice versa. She could be saying it's a good meeting. But then one other one says, no, oh, that wasn't much. Well, that just didn't do anything for anything. There was no profit in that. Uh, if you don't have anything good to say, just don't say it at all, especially about somebody. Um, uh, there's, there's people that if we, we want to be understood, if we would seek to understand before we we're understood, it would go a lot better. We need to seek to understand the other person. The person we think might be weird may not be weird at all. It, it might be just they seem weird because we don't seek to understand them. And uh, it's either do it my way or, or don't do it at all kind of thing. Uh, I think it's very uh, good. You know, if, if, we were, if you were putting a puzzle together and one of the pieces wanted to be like the other person, it wouldn't be much of a puzzle. So uh, we're different. And that's the, that's the great thing about, about everything is that we're different. Uh, Jesus surrounded himself with people that could help him. And I am so thrilled that our church at Marieville Holiness Church, I've got such good help. And, uh, and I, I love that. Uh, I, I need people to take me further than I can go by myself. I need for people to know the things that I don't know and it just goes good. Um, I, I think that uh, it's good to, for us to be different. I'm glad that we're not all the same. And uh, I love living for the Lord. I, I, can't, hard, I can hardly wait till we can get back in church. I hope that those that took going to church for granted, uh, when this is over and we can get back to church again, good, I hope that you will realize the mistake that you might have made. Uh, I hope it, that we can uh, get back to church and 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 the people that's lost. Uh, I hope that this will get you on the move. Uh, but if God cannot trust you with trouble, then he cannot trust you with life. I want to be somebody to be there in the good times and the bad times. I want to be somebody that that uh, you don't have to wonder what they're going to do, that you know that they're going to stand right in there. I've, uh, we've got such a wonderful church at Marieville Holiness Church. We've got people that uh, they'll hang in there with you. And I am so thankful for the people that we've got. And I tell the Lord, I think about the man that was on the, the mat, the cot. He was, had the palsy and they lifted, they carried him up there. And uh, they couldn't get him in the front door. It was too crowded. So they went up on the roof and tore the roof off. And I've said before, I, I want to have four tear off the roof guys on my team. So team don't have 
the, the word ting don't have an I in it. Um, so, so it's, you can get so much more done with a team. Thankful for the team we've got at Marieville Holiness Church. And it's, it surely is wonderful. So I've enjoyed talking to you about this. Consider what I said. If the Lord can't trust you with trouble, then he cannot trust you with life. So I want to be a person that God can trust. Until we get together next time, may God bless you.